All right, we're out of Lake Gaston, and I'm here with uh, Case and Price. And it's a couple days before Easter, and everybody's in, worried about the corona, and so are we. So we're gonna get out and do a little fishing and see if we can't get some uh, some big monster bass on Lake Gaston. All right, so here's the deal: the water's high and it's muddy, and some fronts just ran through. Um, so now we're gonna get a bluebird, which means a lot of sun. But the water is high and stained, so we're thinking power fishing. Big war eagle spinnerbait, skipping a few docks, uh, buzz bait, maybe some top water. Kaysen's fished out here a lot. I'm a local. Uh, Kaysen's a ball player, right? Yes, sir. Who do you play for? I play for the Rollins Prospects in Raleigh. He's from Raleigh. He plays a lot of baseball, but loves fishing on the side. So we're going to go out and see what we can do with the fishing on Lake Gaston today.
It's one of the best jigs I've ever used. The War Eagle jig, half ounce, and that color right there. With, with a Zoom Super Chunk in the back of it. And it produced that right there, a big one. Fishing with Rick Moore's God Service. Couldn't do anything better. So today is the day after my day on the water with Kaysen. He's 15 years old, he lives on the lake, he fishes a lot, he has some skills. So he wanted to go out and do some fishing with me. We started on the grass, the grass was too muddy, the wind was blowing, it's after the front. Um, there was up to 35 mile an hour winds. It's still blowing today, there's a, there's a um, freeze advisory tonight. So we had some tough conditions. The grass bite was not on, so we went to the docks with the War Eagle jig, did a lot of skipping, and we caught a couple of nice big bass. Again, rpmfishing.com, check it out.